Hey guys, MFSX here, and today I'm going to be talking about how dumb the new Nintendo Online system uh, for the new, you know, for the Nintendo Switch is. So basically, we have, we're forced to essentially pay 20 bucks a month for one year of online service, and we're practically given nothing for it. We had free Wi-Fi for a while now, and now, ever since this introduction, we're going to have to pay at least 20 bucks for a year, or 35 if you have multiple share sharers of Nintendo Switch. So you have like two to three Switches for like me, for example, me and my sister both have Switches. So essentially it'd be better if we buy the online pack, which is 35, etc, etc. Basically offering you nothing in exchange for you have to pay 20 bucks. They'll provide no servers. The cloud save system is messed up. We're given NES or SNES games probably in the future. But these games are practically free anywhere else you can get them. And the fact that they shut down a bunch of ROMs so is just to maybe have a monopolize, maybe to like, you know, garner much needed cash, money? I don't know. That wasn't very cash money of you, anyways. Um, but it's just, you know, dumb. You're ba we're basically given free Wi Fi or free online. And that's one of the key things that made me really like the Switch. Not having to pay at least 60 bucks for Xbox or FPS was nice. And also the exclusives, but I'm starting to think otherwise. Mostly, I'm starting to play on my PC nowadays. The services that online provide are not worth it at all. Um, you're given NES games, like I mentioned. The cloud save system is messed up because once you are not subscribed or you are a year has passed of your subscription purchase, you're essentially your cloud data is in risk or you lose that entirely, which is dumb. So that is in itself is stupid. And plus, you don't actually keep or download the NES games. You can only play them up to seven days with online if you're connected to online. Otherwise, you can't. Uh, smartphone app, we still do not have messaging, nor do we have proper voice chat in games like Mario Tennis, uh, Splatoon. It's dumb. Nintendo is still stuck in 2000s, as many people mentioned, because honestly, who would have to use another device in order to chat with friends? in essentially a, a next-gen console it's like xbox has a ps access hell pc has it or pc always has it and it's just dumb the only thing that really makes it good to download the app is you actually keep statistics and the special offers until we don't until we know what it is i just throw it off as nothing special it's just dumb and we're still stuck with peer-to-peer -peer, so no servers but honestly peer-to-peer -peer is good sometimes but not always when it comes to like big games like mars Mario uh, Kart 8 and uh, Super Smash Bros Ultimate when it comes to like more than four players 